We we're talking about standing up, or should we say stand in, to help raise awareness about an all too common problem in our area. We have Rich Tickle here. He's the CEO, Trickle, I should say, he's the CEO at the City Mission, and Bethany Ball. She is from Grace CMA. It is so good to have you both here. And I think, you know, we're mentioning that this is an issue that really exists. It's very common in our society, but a lot of people don't know that it's happening. No, they don't, and that's that's the whole point behind the stand-in. So uh, the city mission has worked with homeless women and children for decades. We have a large facility. We've got many in our building we care for. But in addition to that, we're connected to the Cleveland Public Schools. And what they're telling us is there's about 3,000 homeless children in our school district. Most of those kids are living with their moms, doubled up in our city. So anywhere from 800 to 1,000 moms and kids are just floating in our city, going from couch to couch. And to think about, I know that that just tears at your heartstrings. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is an event where, and I think this is wonderful because it's not that you're asking for donations. You're not asking for anything. You're, right. What you want to do with this event is to expose what's out there. That's exactly right. As we talk about this, as we have talked about it, the common response I would get over and over again is I had no idea. We just got a little tired of hearing that and we thought we need to do something to bring this to our city. So, and I know Grace CMA is getting involved in this, Bethany. Yes. So what was the, the urge and the need for your church to get involved? Yeah, so as a local partner of the City Mission, we just thought this is a very practical way for us to say, you matter to me, you matter to the local church, and most of all, you matter to God. So this is a great way for uh, whether you are in a business or in a church or an organization for a really easy way for you to get involved um, and help other people to raise awareness as well. So what is the day going to be like? How does this all unfold? So Saturday, uh, we'll meet at Public Square beginning at 4 o'clock. We're there from 4 to 7. We've got a lot of activities. There'll be music. Uh, we've got about 12 partnering agencies that'll be scattered throughout uh, the area uh, with information, ways for people to connect. Uh, we'll be providing information. We've got speakers from the city, from the school district, uh, local pastors will be there. So our point is to, uh, to generate awareness and to provide opportunities for engagement. And again, there's about 3,000 people locally that have gone through this. So you want 3,000 people to come out. That's right. And the numbers, the, the amount, of, when you're there to see those numbers in one group, I think it really puts a lasting impact in your memory of what's really going on. That's the point. When we say there's 3,000 kids, homeless children in the school district, uh, we'd like uh, 3,000 people on public squares, a visible representation. This is what we're talking about. Mm -hmm. We've got over 2,400 pre-registered already, so I'm sure we're going to wow. get there. I know, it's wonderful. <laughs> and I know that, so you'll be there all day too, Bethany, yes. all evening, I should yes. say? Yes, And I know you're probably looking forward to the show. There's going to be food trucks there. Food there's trucks will be there. Well, we've got a wonderful band that'll be providing music. We've got activities for kids and families to, to move around, uh, in, interact with the different groups that are there. As they do that, they'll be learning learning about homeless children, and then they'll be exposed to ways that they can engage and they can volunteer, they can participate if they choose to do that. Now, in working with the church there, Bethany, I'm sure you've also, you've seen this firsthand. You've mm -hmm. seen children go through this firsthand. So how important is it for you to be a part of this and, and to see other people that I'm sure it's so rewarding to see other people touched by it and to really <coughs> grasp what's going on? Yeah, I think that often so many people are left in a position of, how do I get involved? How do I put my faith into action? And and so I think this is a really great way for your whole family to come and say, hey, this, this affects everybody. This, you know, poverty doesn't have a prejudice. And so it doesn't matter if, um, if you're raised in poverty or not or where you were raised, but this affects everybody. And so for a whole community to come together and say, it matters to all of us and we see you. It's a beautiful thing. It, this really is a wonderful thing. And again, all they're asking for you to do is come in, see what this is all about. See the fact that that many young lives here are affected by this and maybe it will allow you to make a difference. You might have some lifelong people who want to work and help with the city mission now because of I, it. I hope so. I mean, that's that's certainly what we would love to see and not only us, but like I said, all of our partners will be there too. We'll have mm -hmm. about 12 different groups scattered around Public Square. Uh, wonderful organizations engaged in this on different levels, different opportunities, and they'll be there particularly with ways that people can get engaged. This crisis impacts children in an unbelievable way. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to step into this as a community more aggressively and, and, and participate. And I know, I'm originally from Milwaukee, Wisconsin. I've been here 15 years. And one thing that I've learned is Cleveland is incredibly philanthropic. If people they really understand, are. they will Very step generous. up, yes. they will move up, and they will help to solve this problem. I know that.
Well, it's going to be a wonderful event. And again, make sure you stop out. It'll be 4 o'clock on the 29th there, this, right. this Saturday. Yeah. Uh, come and enjoy it and just be a part of something that's really special. Thank you for doing this. Thank yeah. you. It's Thank a you. wonderful thing.